And to go deep into all the details and relevance of the Grand Congress of the Historic Bolivarian Bloc, we contact our correspondent Gladys Casada with the following report. Hi, Gladys. Hi, thank you for this contact and the time with you and our audience and also for the opportunity to explain and to tell you about what is going on here in Venezuela and precisely in Caracas from today, November 14th, until Saturday, November 16th. Well, currently there is, uh, you know, under development the uh, Congress of the Historical Bloc, the Bolivarian Historical Bloc, which means the gathering of the five generations and that was defined by the President Nicolás Maduro Moros the five historical generations, the youngsters, the elderly, and the middle-time generations that uh, held the revolution and are constructing socialism and the future of Venezuela, and also the seven, the seven forces, which is 70, and those are the social gatherings, the social organizations that are also constructing this. So the joining of the five generations and the seven forces result in the construction of a new agenda until 2030. And those constructions are designed and are defined in the project of government of President Nicolás Maduro Moros, known as the seven transformations. And those are transformations that are mandatory and needed in terms of social equality, in terms of politics, in terms of geopolitics, and also other transformations that are needed in the nation. So far, today was the installation of this Congress, so over 6,000 uh, delegates came here from all over the country to uh, gather and to discuss the proposals and the suggestions for the transformations. That's meaning, okay, so every one of the delegates are gathered in seven working tables that are going to discuss each one of the seven transformations proposed by President Nicolás Maduro Moros. So the construction is not vertical, it's horizontal and it's a collective one. So everyone has a voice because they are representing their grassroots uh, members of the Socialist United party and movement Futuro and other social organizations. It's paramount to explain also that this Congress is part of the new era, the new construction, the new way that is enhancing President Nicolás Maduro Moros here in Venezuela and that is the popular will. You know, the popular organizations who have uh, the power and this is something that started with the consultations to the communes and we were reporting on that too. And now this is the uh, one of the main processes, the main points of the uh, moment because it is uh, the way that they have to communicate what they want for the future of the country in terms of economy, ecology, even social development, gender equality, gender parity, among others. So, so far today is the installation day. As I was saying, 6,000 delegates are gathered in uh, seven working tables. Afterwards, tomorrow, the tables are going to discuss these uh, proposals, these transformations. And also on Saturday, there will be the last day of discussions and the closing words, the closing remarks that will give uh, a conclusion to the Congress. Also, I have to say that in the installation remarks, we heard uh, Delcy Rodriguez, who is the vice president of the country, also Jorge Rodriguez, the president of the National Assembly of Venezuela, as well as, as other main figures. And they were primarily given the historical context of this uh, Congress and how this is a continuity with the policies of the revolution and the Bolivarian and independentist ideals. So this is one of the many ways to enhance the project, to enhance the construction of a new world, and we will be reporting on this in the following coming days. So this is the information so far. Now I'm going back to you. Thank you. Thank you, Gladys, for all the information. We were listening to Gladys Casada in the framework of the Grand Congress of the Historic Bolivarian Bloc that will take place in Caracas, Venezuela, until November 14th.